Here we go with the scrappy song. Are you ready? Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer to see Scrappy TV. It's Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! We're God's family. Brilliant! What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun. With you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. to Scruffy TV on Palm Sunday. Hi! Welcome to Scruffy TV. My name is Philip and you're really welcome here to Scruffy TV. There are all sorts of exciting things in today's service and there's going to be quite a bit of shouting. So warn your neighbours. Now and as we're doing shouting we're going to give shout out to shout out to Oscar and Felix. Hi to you and to Lily and Bella as well. They're emailed, they're in Bath. Hello to you. Ziggy and Marianne and their mum, Jess. A scruffy TV wave to you as well. You were emailed as well, lovely to see you. And the Reverend Mike Peatman and the people from St Nicholas in Beverly. You are welcome to Scruffy TV as are people all over Bath. My churches, the St Stephen's Lansdowne people, the St Mary's Chalcombe people, People all over Bath, all over the Diocese of Bath and Wells, all over the place. Wherever you're from, you are welcome to Scruffy TV. Now, if this is your first Scruffy TV, this is Scruffy. It's not a church, it's our home because we're not allowed to be in our churches at the moment. And when I say we, that's me, Philip, and Lizzie, my wife, who is on camera, and she isn't scruffy enough. She's a bit too glam to be on Scruffy TV. So she's filming us today, which is fantastic. We don't need that. Ah, here we are. Scruffy TV on Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, when Jesus rides into Jerusalem on a donkey and the people wave their palms and shout Hosanna. Did you get that? Let's try that one more time, shall we? Let's wind the tape back. <laughs> Palm Sunday, where Jesus rides into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey, and the people wave their palms and shout Hosanna. Brilliant. That's what Palm Sunday is all about and that's what we're thinking about today in Scruffy TV. But as you know, on Scruffy TV you'll need to get some stuff together so that you can really take part in the service. So we're going to have a look at what we've got today. So what I'd like you to go and find, um, let's see, a something with some money in it and a bowl and that all goes in there and you'll need some sticky tape and some scissors, get a grown up to get those for you, and two sheets of newspaper, and also something to build a wall with. It doesn't have to be Lego, it could be a banana, it could be a box, it just could be a piece of paper, but something you need, you're gonna to need to build a wall that you can then take down. So let's put all of those things together. You can stop the video and go and find all of that stuff. Great. Ah, as well as all the shouting and all the fun and the stories and the singing and everything else, we're going to be praying as well. And we start Scruffy TV by listening to where the singing stops and the silence starts. See if you can hear that moment and we'll pray together. Are you ready? Here we go. Loving God, thank you that we have this time on Scruffy TV to be together. 
Help us to worship you, to find out more about you, and to know your love for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. I think it's time for the Scruffy TV song. So we're going to go over to the singing area. Let's see if that's with me. There we are. And we're going to sing the Scruffy TV song. And the words are over there. Here we go. So if you don't know this song yet, then I'm sure you will by the end, but you can always stop the tape, go back and play it again. Here we go. Let's hear you sometime on a Sunday. I know where we'll be. Watching my computer to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy. So what I thought we'd do now is we would hear the story of Palm Sunday. So we're going to go over to the, the storytelling bit and we'll hear about Palm Sunday. Do your mum and dad ever ask you to do something that you don't really want to do? <laughs> I bet you always want to do everything that you're told. But you see, there was this time when Jesus and his disciples, Jesus told two of his disciples to do something. They thought it was a bit weird because they'd walked miles to get to Jerusalem, which is where they were headed. And Jerusalem was a massive city. And Jesus said, I really want to make an entrance into Jerusalem. So two of you disciples, I want you to go into the town, go through the main gates, turn left, first left, first right, and then first left. And down that road, you'll find a donkey tied up to a post. So what I want you to do is untie the donkey and bring it back here. And they said, but, but what if the donkey belongs to someone? And Jesus said, oh yeah, well look, if anyone says, what are you doing? All you have to do is say, Jesus wants it. You'll be fine. And the disciples thought, he wants us to steal a donkey. And Jesus said, no, 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 not steal, only borrow. So the disciples went, hmm. And into the town they went. First left, first right, first left, and there, just as Jesus had said, in the street was a donkey. And they untied the donkey. And they were just about to lead it away when they heard, Oi! They looked round, and there was a great big man there with a massive beard. He said, What are you two doing with my donkey? Put it back immediately. And they said, um, actually, sir, <coughs> with a great big beard, um, <coughs> Jesus wants to borrow it. And he said, well, <laughs> why didn't you say? Fantastic. Take the donkey and tell Jesus he can bring it back whenever he likes. And so Jesus sat on the donkey and they put cloaks on it. And the people put cloaks on the path and Jesus rode into Jerusalem and all the people in the city were waving palm branches and singing, Hosanna, Hosanna. It was an amazing, amazing time. I mean, imagine if where you live, if somebody that you really like were to come to town, somebody that you really, really love and everybody would react to you, just like we cheer the NHS on Thursday nights. It would be like that. Everybody would be out clapping and cheering. That's exactly what it was like. But it was slightly strange for these people to see this because normally when a king arrives somewhere, he rides on a great big white horse. But Jesus 
was riding on a small donkey. And that's because Jesus wanted to say, I am a king, but I am a king for everyone. I wonder if you are jealous of my palm. I wonder if you're thinking, God, I really wish I had one of those. Well, you can. Come over here. Let's have a look. Now then, get rid of those. Don't need those for the moment. Don't need that for the moment. But this is what we need. So you might need a grown up to help you with some of this. Take the two pieces of newspaper like that. And then you take some sticky tape like that. And you stick them together like that. Okay, and then when you've done that, you get one end and you start to roll it up quite tightly all the way up to the end like that. And then you make it all neat like this. You can always stop the video and go back if you need a bit longer later. I'm just showing you how to do it now. There. Now, the really, really tricky bit is you find the very end of it there and you move that back because you don't try and not to use that. And you get some scissors or get a grown up to get some scissors and you cut about a third of the way down. That's that, on four different sides, like that and like that. And then you take one of the middle pieces and you start to pull and you pull a bit more. Whoops. And there we go. A brilliant <laughs> palm. And if you want to, you can stop the video and go back and make one for everybody. You can make one for each hand if you like. You can make as many as you like. The more palms, the better. Because we're going to sing a song now where you're going to need to wave them. So, come on, let's go back to the singing area. I'll take the palm with me. And we're going to sing a song all about singing Hosanna, which is what the people were singing in Jerusalem. And it goes, I'll sing the first line, it goes like this. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. All together. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Let's try that again. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To the next bit. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. That's it. That's all you need to know. So we'll sing that's the first verse, all this is the first verse, and then this is the second verse. So we sing glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings, and at the end here you sing King of Kings, and then the last verse is Jesus is the King of Kings, and we'll sing that. You'll get the hang of it as we go through. So get your palms ready to wave, and we're going to be the crowd welcoming Jesus into Jerusalem with our loud hosannas. Here we go. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise. Be exalted.
Everybody, you can have a seat now if you were standing. I thought I hope you were standing up to sing that. I needed a bit of dancing around too. So, the thing about Easter is that the crowds are cheering, Oh, Santa, woo for Jesus. But in a few days' time, they'll all be going, Boo, we want you crucified. One minute they're going, Woo, the next minute they're going, Boo. What? changes. What makes them go from woohoo to boo? We'll find out in a minute. We're going to play a game first. Do you like games? This game is called Woohoo Boo. I'm going to show you something and I want you to decide whether you're going to cheer it with a woohoo or whether you're going to boo it with a boo. And if I sense that everybody watching Scruffy TV is cheering, then it goes here into the chair of sparkly golden delights. And there it rests in all its wonder and glory. But if I sense that everybody in Scruffy TV land is going boo, then it goes here into the bin of doom. And it never comes out. Again, so be careful whether you boo or cheer. You ready for the first one? I said, are you ready for the first one? Right, here we go. Are you ready? Here's the first thing. It's Marmite, everybody. Are you gonna cheer it? Woo! Or are you gonna boo it? Boo! I can sense that there is booing for that one. Oh, Marmite, I love Marmite, but it goes into the bin of doom. The next one, are you ready? The next one is going to be, oh. Walking. We're all going out for walks at the moment. Once a day. Walking, do you like that? Woohoo! Or do you not like it? Boo! What is it gonna be? Oh no, I'm sensing another boo. I love walking, but it's gonna go into there because that's what I can hear. <laughs> Right, the next one. Are you ready? It's Mr. Tumble, everybody. Mr. Tumble. Is that a you, a woohoo or a boo? Oh, I thought so. Mr. Tumble is a definite chair of golden sparkling delights. Fantastic. Right, the next thing is it's Liverpool Football Club, everybody! Am I hearing a woohoo or am I hearing a boo? Oh, I think overall, I think I'm afraid it's a boo. There are lots of other people supporting other teams, including me, because I support Watford. And it's going into the... Sorry, Liverpool. Sorry, sorry, Liverpool. Right, a couple more to go. Here's the next one. It's... Lego, Lego everybody. Is that a good cheer or is it a boo? Is it woohoo or oh, I'm sensing? It's a, it's a chair of sparkly delights with Mr. Tumble. Brilliant, what else have we got? We have, are you ready for this one? It's, it's Nando's everybody, it's Nando's. Oh, remember the times we could go out to restaurants. We will be able to go again. If you like Nando's, give us a cheer, woo! -hoo! And if you don't, give us a boo, boo what is it? Oh, I think, actually it's going to, oh, it's going into the chair of all delights behind Mr. Tumble. There we are. We've got one more left. And I think that everybody is going to be agreed on this one. Are you ready? It's 
the NHS, everybody! Woohoo! There we are. That is a massive woohoo. We're so grateful to everybody in the NHS, and that, that NHS is going to go on the top place. Whoa! It is scruffy, so it can be a bit on its edge. There we are. The NHS is in our woohoo. Fantastic. We cheered the things that we loved, and we booed the things that we didn't like. And part of the problem that people had with Jesus was because he said, well, you know, some people do that to people. Some people like some people and they don't like others. But God loves everybody the same. And it's all there in the story in the Bible. So how about that we become scruffy Bible detectives? Let's go over there. Right, come on, everybody. Let's have a look at this, because what happens after Jesus goes into Jerusalem? The very next story that Matthew tells us in his gospel is that he goes into the temple and he turns over the table of the people who are lending money. So this is the time to get your bowl and get your money. Jesus turns over the tables and all the money falls on the floor and some people think and probably right that Jesus is cross because people were buying and selling things in the temple but if we have a look at Matthew's story really carefully I think that we find another clue let me show you what the temple was like. Now you're going to be, imagine that you're a bird and you're looking down on the temple. This was the temple as Jesus had it. This is the outside of the temple. So this is all the temple here. And this red line is a wall. And only certain people are allowed to go on this side of the wall. So on this side of the wall, this was called, this was the courtyard of the Gentiles. Only the people, people who were blind, people who couldn't see very well, they were only allowed to go there. The people who were poor, people who were begging, they were only allowed to go in this bit. The people who were deaf, people who couldn't hear very well, they were only allowed to go in this bit. Children, children weren't allowed to go over here. They were only allowed to go in this bit. The people who behaved in a way that some people didn't like, slightly there, they were there as well. The people who couldn't speak, they were called mutes, those people, they weren't allowed in either. And the people who couldn't walk properly, they were called lame people, they weren't allowed in either. They all had to go in this bit of the temple and they weren't allowed anywhere else. This middle bit here, women were allowed to go in there, as long as they weren't blind or deaf or anything else, they could go in there, but this, was the barrier. None of these people could ever go in here. In here, men, they were allowed in there. The men were allowed in this bit. And in this bit in the middle was the absolute middle of the temple. And you could only go in this bit if you were a priest. There's a priest there in the distance. Not even men were allowed in there unless you were a priest. And this bit here is even more holy and only one person could go in there, and it was the special priest, the priest who was there for that year. He was the only one allowed to go there. And I reckon that Jesus looked at this and he said, my temple, God's house, should be a place for everybody. And in the Bible it says, and suddenly the people who were lame and blind, and the children came to him in the temple. So I reckon Jesus opened the doors of the temple. There we go, I reckon he opened the doors, he took down all the barriers, and he let everybody in. And look at that, it's scruffy temple now, but a scruffy temple is better than a temple that lets people out. So all of these people could go all over there, yes! And the children were heard singing, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to the son of David. Ah, oh, Jesus breaks down 
the barriers and says God's love is for everybody. That's what Jesus is all about. Remember in Scruffy TV that we have a time where we pray together. So I want you to take your barrier, your wall, I asked you to get earlier, and we're going to go into our room. Remember Jesus says, when you pray, go into your room and shut the door. So we're going to go into my very scruffy study and we're going to pray together. So you need to get your barrier. Now, in my barrier, I've got a couple of people as well. So just build your barrier up there like that. There we are. And we're going to pray together now. We pray for when we put a barrier between us and God. When we don't take time to pray or we don't take time to think about God or to know that God loves us so much. Loving God, help us to break down that barrier. You can smash your barrier down now. Help us always to come closer to you because we know that your love makes us who we are. That's the first one. You can build your barrier up again now. And the second, we're going to pray when we put a barrier between us and other people. First of all, we think about the people that we miss at the moment when we're in our lockdown, in our houses. The people we miss, people in our families, our friends. We can speak to them on our computers and phones, but we miss being with them. And so, loving God, we pray that this virus will soon pass and we can see people again. And we thank you for all those who are helping us at the moment, for the NHS and for all the people, doctors and nurses and people who work in offices and driving ambulances, the people who get things ready, the people who clean stuff. Pray for all those. We pray for the education. We pray for people in shops. We pray for people who are running our towns and cities for us when we're shut away inside, all the people who bring us food, all of these people, we, we pray for them. And we pray for when we put up barriers between ourselves and others, we pray that you would help us to love everybody. There we are going to be waving. Nice social distance wave. Especially help us to love the people that we disagree with. Help us to forgive people. Help us to tear down those barriers. And we bring all of these prayers together as we just look at a candle for a moment. And I wonder what's on your mind or your heart this morning. We'll just have a bit of quiet now, just quietly in your own mind, in your own heart. Who do you want to pray for today? Who do you know maybe who's feeling sad? Maybe someone that you haven't seen for a while. Just be quiet together whether you're on your own or whether you're with other people. Just look at that lovely candle flame. Let that person be warmed by your prayers. Loving God, thank you that you love us so much that you are the light in our lives and you are the warmth in our hearts. And we're gonna finish our prayers by praying together that wonderful prayer that Jesus taught us. Let's say this prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Great. 
we're gonna go back and sing our last song now. So we're gonna go out of our room, back to the singing area. Now actually, this is a song that we sang last week in Scruffy TV. And we sang it last week as it was a kind of a practice for this week. And the reason it's so good for this week is because it's got Hosanna in it. I'm just gonna move the lid of the bin of doom away. So I'll put it back on the top of the bin of doom. So we're just gonna sing this through together and enjoy it. When we get to the sing Hosanna, remember those crowds cheering Jesus and remember to sing your praises to the King of Kings. Here we go. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. everybody. So I'm going to say thank you to Lizzie for filming this. I'm going to say thank you to Andrew who's at St Stephen's and St Mary's and he is going to be editing this ready to put on the YouTube channel so you can watch it today on Palm Sunday. And the exciting news is we now have an email address and it's here. It's scruffy at stephensbath.org. Dot UK scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. You can email me there, send your pictures, send your thoughts, send if you want a shout out, and then we'll try our best to give you a mention on next week's Scruffy TV. And next week is Easter Sunday, it's Easter eggs and all sorts of wonderful things. So, we'll, there'll be a special Easter Scruffy TV next Sunday. But we close Scruffy TV with a blessing. Thank you, God, for this time together. Pray that as we go from here, you'll help us to love one another as you love us. Reach out to the screen. And I can't actually touch you, but feel that warmth of God's love coming through the screen and warming your hand. And you take that hand, and you place it here, and you can feel that warmth. Bless us, loving God, in the name of God, who is our maker and our redeemer, and our indwelling, kindly spirit. Amen. Great to be with you. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for all your singing and all your shouting. Have a brilliant week, and we'll see you next week on Scruffy TV.
Scrubby, scrub.